Hi everyone. In this lecture, we study Yaga class of fuzzy complement and also find the complement both for discrete and continuous fuzzy sets. Let capital X be a set and let us take a fuzzy set A. Now, suppose this fuzzy set A at X takes the membership grade semi OX, then Yager class of fuzzy complement is defined as if we define it as a complement mu a complement x as 1 minus mu a x whole to the power omega 1 upon omega. Now this omega should be greater than 0 where omega should be greater than 0. So this is how Yager class of fuzzy complement is defined. Now let us check whether this Yager class of fuzzy complement satisfies the axiomatic skeleton of fuzzy complement or not. So if you remember the axioms first we are checking the axiomatic skeleton Axiom 1 says that is it has to be monotonic, that is monotonically decreased. So let the membership grades be in 0, 1, that is we are not taking in the lattice. And let complement of mu a x1, which we define as mu a complement x1 be greater than or equal to mu a complement x2. Complement at x1 is greater than complement at x2. Now how did you define the Yage class of complement function? We are writing this 1 minus whole to the power omega 1 by omega. It is greater than or equal to 1 minus mu a x2 this is x1 x2 whole to the power omega and this whole to the power 1 upon omega. So this will be same as saying 1 minus the membership grade at x1 to the power omega should be greater than or equal to 1 minus membership grade at x2 whole to the power Omega. So we can say that mu a x1 is less than or equal to mu a x2. Or we can say this is the power omega. Or we can say mu a x1 is less than or equal to membership grade at x2. So this means that first one, first axiom which was monotonically decreasing is satisfied. If you go to axiom number 2, axiom number 2, let us check axiom number 2. Axiom number 2 talks about the boundary condition. So if membership grade of x is 0, then it, its complement should be 1. Then let us check mu a complement x, which is equal to, let us write 1 minus mu a x whole to the power omega and to the power 1 upon omega. Since mu a x is equal to 0, this is coming out to be 1. Okay. Other way around. Or we can say second boundary condition. So axiom 2 was boundary condition we had already discussed in last two lectures if membership grade is equal to 1 then let us see the complement membership grade what is the membership grade of the complement so mu a x whole to the power omega to the power 1 upon omega since this is equal to 1 so this will come out to be 
zero. And yes, complement of zero is coming out to be one, and complement of one is coming out to be zero. So this means that it satisfies the axiomatic conditions. So once it satisfies the axiomatic condition, we can say that yes, Yage class of function or this function defines a complement of fuzzy sets. It's a fuzzy complement. Now there are a few additional conditions which we had discussed in previous lectures. And these additional conditions are next to axioms. Second is axiom number three, which is continuity. So we can see that this is continuous. So if you want to check it in this way, students, uh, check this function 1 minus x to the power omega whole to the power 1 upon omega where x belongs to 0 1 is this function continuous check this function and you will find that this one this is a continuous function let us move on to our axiom number 4 do remember that we are doing additional conditions we had done the basic condition earlier basic conditions are the monotonically uh, decreasing condition and second is boundary condition. Additional conditions which might be required for some other reasons. First one continuity is satisfied and next move on to axiom 4 which talks about involutive property. Okay, so let us check whether it is involutive or not. So we know that mu a x is equal to mu a x whole to the power to the power 1 by omega. I don't think there's a problem with this. Okay, so we'll add and subtract 1. 1 minus 1 plus same mu a x added and subtracted 1. Nothing else. Moving on further, so this is the 1 minus 1 minus mu a x whole to the power omega and this whole to the power 1 by omega. So I think this is also clear. Now students can you tell me what is this? What is this? Can we write this in this way? 1 minus mu a x whole to the power omega whole to the power omega and then here 1 by omega right to the power omega. Can we write it in this way? Yes, we can write it in this way. So what will be this? We can we are writing this particular term in this way. So basically we can write it in this way. So what is this? This is mu a complement x and whole to the power omega because this one was extra. So basically we are writing 1 minus this whole, this whole 1 to the power 1 by omega. Basically, we are writing 1 minus this whole, whole to the power 1 by omega. So, what does this mean? It means that mu a x is this one. So, how can we write this? Next, see. Next, see this one again. So, yes. what is this? This is nothing but mu, whatever the set here, it is a complement, complement x. So basically we are saying mu a x is equal to complement of complement of mu a x. See this again and check whether you are able to understand it. If not, then write it in the function. Or if you remember, 
we wrote the involutive property as a complement complement is equal to a this was our involutive property so yes this one is also satisfied so basically it satisfies both the axiomatic skeleton also and the additional conditions also so let us move on to few of the examples in order to understand this so in this example we are taking discrete fuzzy set let x has three elements say 1 2 3 let us take a fuzzy set a which takes membership uh, value 0.5 at 1 0.1 at 2 and 0.7 at 3 we have to find the jager class of fuzzy complement and how the jager class is defined it is 1 minus the membership rate to the power omega whole to the power 1 upon Okay, let us move. So, before moving forward, there is a remark here which I want to give you. In Jager class of fuzzy complement, if we take omega is equal to say uh, one, then what will be the complement? If you remember, we wrote a standard complement. Now see what this one is coming. One minus mu a x since omega is one. So we are left with this one. So this coincides with the standard complement. So Jager complement and standard complement becomes same when omega is equal to one. So this is nothing but standard complement, which we studied earlier. Okay, now there is a fuzzy set which is given in the question, and this is the fuzzy set. We have to find the complement of this fuzzy set. Let us find the complement. So complement is given by at one, it will take value one minus zero point five whole to the power omega. So value of omega is. Which we are going to take is one is zero point five, then one, two, and three. Then so this time I am taking zero point five. So zero point five whole to the power one upon zero point five. And what is one upon zero point five? It is two. So nothing but two, right? So next one one minus zero point one zero point five whole to the power two at two and at three. It is going to take value one minus zero point seven whole to the power zero point five, and total to the power two. So when we calculate it, zero point five will come out to be zero point zero eight five seven nine at one plus. This is just sine, not uh, the usual plus sine. Zero point four six seven five at two, and then zero point zero. Two six seven at three. Now let us plot these two functions, both a and a complement, just to see the difference. So this one is let's say a, and this is membership grade. Let us take one, two, and three. This is discrete fuzzy sets. Let us see the value. The function takes uh, the fuzzy set takes the membership grade. Zero point five one and seven. This is one. It takes value zero point five at one. Zero point one say here at two. Okay, at three it takes value zero point seven. So maybe somewhere somewhere here. Yes, seven. So this is our a. So let us see the Jager class of complement function for omega is equal to zero point five. This represents the membership rate. Let this be one, and again one, two, three. You can see the difference, students. See the difference. It is zero point zero eight five seven. So if this is say zero point five, so this is somewhere zero point zero eight five seven. I am taking here, and then zero point four. 
it is near by 0 0.5. So here, and 0 0.02. This is lesser than this somewhere here. Okay, so this one. So this is what Yage class gives you the problem. Let us move to second part. That is, we are finding the complement for one. And see what this remark says. Remark says that when omega is equal to one, this is nothing but the standard complement. So if it is standard complement, students, then what will be a complement? It is whatever the membership value is subtract it with one so if it is 0 0.5 1 minus 0 0.5 is again 0 0.5 it is 0 0.1 so 1 minus 0 0.1 0 0.9 so 1 minus 0 0.7 it is 0. so let us write the complement it is 1 1 minus 0 0.5 then add to it is 1 minus 0 0.1 then at 3 it is 1 minus 0 0.7 so you can see the difference between Jagir class of complement and a standard complement. Let us plot and see one, two, three. And if this is one, at one it is taking value 0 0.5. So maybe this one. At two it is taking value 0 0.9. Yeah. It is taking value 0 0.3 here. Yeah. So yes, now you can check the difference in complement of Yage and standard one. Similarly, students, this one for, was for omega is equal to 1. This complement was for omega is equal to 1. This complement was for omega is equal to 0. So we had calculated for 0 0.5 and 1. Now this is homework for you to calculate for 2 and 3 similarly. So calculate for omega is equal to 2 and 3 similarly as we did for 0 0.5 and 1. So on calculation, for omega is equal to 1, we'll get the graph like this. Okay. For omega is equal to 0 0.5, is omega is lesser than 1, so graph will be more like this. Let me correct it once more. It will be more like this. If it is, say, a 2, it will be like this. At 3, so on. So this one is for omega is equal to 0 0.5, this one is for 2, and this one is for 3. The thing which you have to notice that the more uh, uh, the value of omega, it increases in this way. So let us move to uh, Another example, and this one is our continuous fuzzy set. Let us consider a triangular fuzzy set 2, 3, 4. So we'll draw the triangular fuzzy set. Okay, let this be one. 2, 3, and 4. So this is this. And this one is the largest membership value, that is 1. And this represents the membership rates or values. Now we have to find the fuzzy complement using Yagir class.
Okay. So if we take students 0 0.5, so it will be just like a cusp. Remember the cusp. So if it is say 0, uh, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this one was our A. This one is A complement for omega is equal to 0 0.5. And we wrote it as A complement X. Now move on to the standard complement. Standard complement, we remember, wherever the origin function takes value 1, it takes value. Complement takes value 0. And similarly, wherever it takes value, say, x, the complement will take value 1 minus x. So if it is, say, 1 and 0 is 1, 2, 3, and 4. So till 2 is taking value, uh, the function is taking value 0. So complement will take value 1, so 1, and then at 3, 0, and then this, then again 1, because in the original function it takes taking value 0. So this one is for a complement for omega is equal to 1, which is same as the standard complement. If you remember the last lecture where we discussed the Sugeno class, there also the complement came out to be the same. Yes, this one was the last lecture. Yes, this is the standard complement. So this is coming out to be same. And then we'll move to 1 and 2. Okay. So the more we move towards, you have to plot this, and it's very easy to plot. So 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So it will come out to be, so if this is 1, the membership grade is 1. And then it will be just like this, something. And then this one. You will get the exact graph the moment you plot it. So this is for omega is equal to 2. Similarly, if we take for omega is equal to 3, omega is equal to 3 is basically we are plotting mu a complement x is 1 minus mu a x whole to the power 3, whole to the power 1 by 3. So basically you can say you are plotting y is equal to 1 minus x q whole to the power 1 by 3. So plot this graph and see how it behaves. Again, it will be like uh, it will be like this and then one. This is our value one. Okay, so students, we found the value for 0 0.5, which is 1 minus mu ax whole to the power. 0 0.5 to the power 1, by, 1 upon 0 0.5 for omega is equal to 1 which is nothing but same as standard complement for omega is equal to 2 which is 1 minus mu x to the power 2 whole to the power 1 by 2 and for omega is equal to 3 which is nothing but 1 minus mu a x whole to the power 3 and 1 by 3. Okay, so this is all from my side for uh, Yagir class of complement function. In the next lecture, we are again discussing the complements only, some different type of complements.